you know, it's a uh, very exciting game. Uh, it was one that, uh, that certainly took twists and turns. Uh, the uh, last six minutes, certainly our football team uh, needed to figure out exactly how to win that one, and they did. I, uh, I have to tell you, I'm very proud of the way they overcame some adversity there. I uh, really enjoyed the fact that, that uh, they, they went in there to play like Tigers. And uh, the back end of that game, any number of ways, they could have found a way to um, finish the game strong, but not. And they, they, never, they never flinched. They, uh, they, we pride ourselves on playing in, in, uh, in close quarters, and we pride ourselves on playing best when it's tough. And, uh, and they did. I, uh, again, youthful team. That's a great characteristic to have. So, um, offensively, enjoyed uh, how Anthony Jennings uh, uh, kind of handled the situations, understood the game. Uh, you know, minus a couple of uh, mistakes, he was uh, pretty good on the day. Helped us, uh, you know, uh, certainly navigated victory. He made some plays, and we needed to have him make them. Um, I, uh, we wanted to play Brandon Harris. I did. Uh, certainly, Coach Cameron did. Just the uh, what happens when you get in those tight games. You, the win and the the necessary momentum is not uh, doesn't present itself. And so, what you say is, uh, let's go with uh, Anthony. And uh, certainly, that that proved to be the right thing. Um, felt like the offensive line keeps getting better. I, I think. Uh, uh, it was a, uh, a, a a dominant day for them. Uh, they rushed for just under 200 yards, uh, protected the passer fairly well, and uh, um, again, the, this team's improving. Uh, Leonard Fournette uh, rushes for 150 or 140 yards, two touchdowns, and really runs the football like we're used to having run around here, and. Uh, Melvin Jones, Melvin Jones, a, a first-time starter at, at fullback. Um, his uh, the uh, starter in front of him is Connor Neighbors, and Connor Neighbors uh, coached him all through the week and uh, put him in position to uh, play. Should Connor not travel, Connor did not travel. Connor talked to him before the game by phone, and uh, uh, it was a uh, he had made a, a very nice. Um, reaction to playing. He just put a smile on his face and went to work and, and looked up. And, you know, it was certainly not perfect on the day, but made uh, several big catches and a couple very significant blocks. And um, again, a, a guy that, uh, a young player that steps forward to, to play. Um, uh, Travian Durrell makes two big catches in that game really in his presence on the day is very significant you know we're trying to get the ball to him more and more and uh trey quinn makes a couple of third down snags uh, malachi dupree won and uh you know we're we're looking for a little bit more productivity out of malachi and, and trey and and see if we can move the football around a little bit more, um, you know, in the air. Certainly, it'd be our want to throw the football just a little bit more efficiently and better. So uh, defensively, I, I thought that they played well, except a, a couple of big plays that late fourth quarter touchdown. Just absolutely. And let's put it this way: that late fourth quarter um, catch and uh, long reception that was followed by extremely um, relentless effort by both Rashard Robinson and uh, Ronald Martin. If you think about them not tackling that man uh, before he crossed the goal line, how much different that game would have been. But they, they caught that man at the 10-yard line and wrestled him out of bounds to set up a, an opportunity for that defense to come forward and stop that team. And third down and one, you know, they want to take the fourth down to tie the game. On third down and one, they uh, they call a run, and they could not get a, a yard. And I uh, I have to say that that was a huge piece of the game. They go and f go forward and, and kick the three pointer to tie, and uh, and then we get the ball back. We punt it back to them, and they're in position now to move the football and score. Um, and 
you know, our defense is, is playing, you know, you know, the percentages and they throw a ball inside and uh, Quan Alexander closes on it and knocks it loose, knocks it up in the air. Ricky Jefferson gets it and returns it just about 20 yards. Puts us in great position for a kick. And uh, I think the kick, very similar to our team. There's a guy who's, you know, misfired on a, a PAT. Um, you know, during the the uh, injury timeout, where we certainly wish the the opponent well, but during that time, he said, um, "We want to kick this one anywhere but from the right hash, coach." And I said, "I'm right with you." And uh, so we called the play that would center the ball and that would certainly not be pushed all the way to the far hash. And uh, um, Terrence McGee comes off right tackle and is pushed all the way to the far hash. And so I said to De La Jose, I says, you good with this? I'm good with this. And uh, and there's a guy who, you know, again, you, uh, you're you miserable when you miss a two-foot putt. You're miserable when you miss an extra point. And then now he's got a 30-foot putt for a birdie, and uh, and he hits it. So uh, I, uh, I certainly... Uh, enjoyed um, his uh, his response and who he is so um, all in all the uh, the uh, we've taken a lot of good football teams to that swamp it's a tough place to play it's loud it's aggressive um, you know will's done a good job there they have real athletes that, that receiving core that comes on the field is pretty special. Uh, those running backs can run. I think Driscoll is a very fine quarterback. And uh, that defense, that offense, and the special teams um, not played perfectly, but played to, vic played to victory. So now the, uh, the, the things that we got to do in the correction is uh, you know, we got to get that punt return uh, handled. We got we to gotta make sure that our guys recognize their responsibility and coverage, and that will be something we'll spend time on. Um, in this uh, in this week, I uh, I go back to you know looking at you know Jamie Jamie kicked it just where we wanted to and kicked it with good hang time. He 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 booms a ball now and then, and uh, you know frankly we gotta we gotta prepare that that coverage unit to get down there because we want that 52 yard punt. We want that. I mean we averaged 45 yards a punt. He returned two of them, two of them very significantly, and and uh, we had we kicked two out of bounds. So uh, yeah, we're uh, uh, I, I think we're I think we've got a weapon there. We just need to make sure that our guys recognize their responsibility to cover. Now, um, first of all, I want this stadium to be just like it's always been a, a very live place for our opponents to uh, to witness a a very uh, very noisy and very loud partisan crowd and I uh, want to encourage everybody to come out to the stadium and enjoy us because we will enjoy you and uh, uh, Kentucky's five and one they're in the the conference race uh, on the east and uh, they've gotten better each week Mark Stoops is a uh, very fine coach it comes from a family of coaches I've uh, um, competed with that family um, and enjoyed that, and uh, his uh, his impact and at Kentucky is is very significant. They, uh, they one of their losses to Florida was on three overtimes, and they're in good position to play in that conference on their side. So uh, they beat South Carolina in a 38-24 game, uh, in a uh, so it's. It's going to be a very quality Kentucky team. Offensively, they're averaging 36 points, 448 yards. They're, they'll rush it for 185, and they'll throw it for 265. So quarterback uh, Patrick Towles completes 63% of his his passes, a 1,500-yard uh, average, excuse me, a 1,500 yards this season, 10 touchdowns. A, uh, he spreads the ball around. He is uh, he hits five players with at least twelve receptions. Um, good balance. They run it and and throw it. They'll they'll use a uh, a wildcat quarterback uh, who can uh, run it and throw it some. And uh, defensively, 
they're allowing 18 points, and it's a uh, again a uh, very quality SEC defense. They've turned the ball, they've taken the ball away from an opponent. They've got uh, 11 pass interceptions, and they're in turnover margin second in the conference. So, um, very uh, very capable defense, and we'll have to play well. Special teams again. Very quality, well coached, and prepared. Um, the uh, I probably want to take a minute myself and 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 to say uh, thank the players that I've coached for these uh, for these years and the uh, the assistant coaches who put great game plans together and and the people in the perimeter in my building uh, that uh, really have made a difference. And those people that in our association with LSU, frankly. You know, you don't uh, you don't have the opportunity to have the kind of success we've had without everything in place. And LSU gives us that. So, uh, to those people, uh, I just uh, want to say thanks. That uh, 100 victories is a significant piece for me, and and one that I uh, will remember.